Welcome back. Thank you. Nice to be here. That was like a beautiful performance. Stand. Oh, there you go. Good. So I don't like those Back things. to the stand-up. Yep. What's up? Anybody got any questions? I can always ask a question. Okay. What, what is the affiliation with Wallace Espresso? Oh, folks, man, I've been getting this question all day. I uh, mean, it, I it, beg, it begs the come. question. Yes, it does. I used to live in Toronto. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's the center of the universe. And uh, that's why I moved away. But anyway, um, I used to live by this coffee shop. I really liked the coffee. I used to take my girls there. And, uh, and then at one point, one of them spilled a bunch of coffee on me. And the guy very generously gave me this sweatshirt. And I just put it on like two years ago, and I really haven't taken it off. And then my wife, who's a lot cooler and trendier than I am, she said, why don't you cut the bottom off? Because young people, apparently teenagers, they cut the bottom off of the sweatshirt so that it hangs more like a t-shirt. And um, I, then I did that, and that worked out well, because I've gone through the great widening, as uh, those of you with kids will know that <laughs> that happens. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so then I've been wearing this. And she, she you should cheer. She's smoking hot, and she's looking great tonight. And then she out of solidarity, she put a Wallace Espresso sweatshirt on as we went down the red carpet, so I thought that was very sweet of her. That's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. It's really, it's really good publicity for Wallace Espresso. There you Espresso. go. Well, I hope, Dan, go ahead, enjoy that, and uh, if I ever come back to Toronto again, I'll come in for a coffee. Right on. Yeah. Do I have any questions? Perfect. So I have another question. Oh. How did you come up with the name Bahamas? Um, I have a weird name. My name is Afi Solomon Jurvan and Herskovitz. It's sort of strange by North American standards. I grew up in Finland. And, um, and when I started playing, I was pretty uncomfortable with the idea of just using my own name. So I just chose, I had a sort of seemingly random list of names that seemed to be okay. It sounded kind of cool. I liked that it was, had an S on it, but it wasn't plural. And uh, I don't know, it seems to conjure up some nice imagery for people when they hear the music. I didn't really plan it that way, but people are like, man, you have a breezy island sound, dude. So that works out good. Have you been to Bahamas? I've never been there. I'd like to go down there with an empty suitcase and buy a bunch of made in China of, uh, merchandise and bring it back and sell it to all you people at like $30 I feel like between Wallace Espresso and Bahamas tourism, there That's could right. be something in the works here for you. All right. We have a question over you here. You, young man. Thank you, sir. And we've yes. been promoting your music an awful lot on Radio Western. What's the similarities and the difference from a small venue like, let's say, the Call the Office a couple blocks away to doing what you just did on the stage at Budweiser Gardens in front of the Junos? I mean, the similarities, there's not too many. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're in the same town. Call the Office. I had, that's the only show I've ever played where nobody came. Not one person. I drove, this was when I was like 17 years old. I played in a terrible van. We got our big break opening up for someone. I can't remember who it was now, but we drove all this way. Tony Lima gave us the gig, and we were about to go on, and there was not one person in the show. And uh, we still played. And I thought, there's a lesson to be learned in this. You know, you just kind of have to give it your all, even if no one's watching. But this is better. This is much sweeter. I enjoy this. Uh, you know, the Sean, De Sean Mendez fans were very nice to us. They were very polite and allowed us to do our thing. So um, that was nice. Nice to be a part of tonight. Right on. Cool, guys. I have a question back there. OK, so your last album was Earth Tones in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, what new projects do you have coming up? What's coming down the pipes? Well, I officially uh, don't have a record deal anymore. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, it seems like success hasn't uh, really worked out well for me. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll keep writing songs. I mean, it's, I've just been doing the same thing since I was like 16 years old. Um, and it seems like you make an album and you go on tour and you make write some more songs and make an album. I mean, of course I'll make another album. I just, I'm on tour for the rest of the year. I'm going to Australia and Korea. For some reason, we're huge in Korea. I don't know why. We're going to play the Soul Jazz Fest, BTS, and whatever other scandals are going on. Anyway, we're going there and we're going to Japan and we're going to Australia and New Zealand, all these kind of places. So, I don't know. There's lots of places apparently that don't have their own musicians and they need me to go there and play. So I'm going to do that for the next year or two and then I'll worry about making a new album. Sorry, that was long-winded. All right. That was a good answer. Cool. Anyone else? Thank you for coming to see right us on. again. Thanks, Thanks guys. for a really Enjoy beautiful performance. Thank you.